Hey y'all, welcome to How to Flip Out. I'm Monica Roach. I'm a social studies teacher at Ocean Lakes High School, and I'm so excited that you're here today and interested in flipped learning. This year was the first year that I flipped my classes, and it was amazing. Um, it was my 13th year teaching, and I needed a change. So by flipping my class, my passion for teaching and for working with the young men and women um, that I see and that I work with, it, it was renewed, and I thoroughly enjoy teaching in this manner. So hopefully you'll be able to take away a few um, things to try next year and possibly consider flipping your classes as well. So in their book, Flip Your Classroom, um, which I highly recommend you read if you're truly interested in flipping your classroom. Um, it's written by Jonathan Bergman and Aaron Sams. It's a very quick, very easy to read um, book. Everything made so much sense to me after I read this about flipping my classroom. So this is kind of like a handbook. I highly recommend you read it. Um, Jonathan Bergman and Aaron Sams, they listed several reasons why a teacher should flip their class. And these are all fantastic reasons why you should flip. But it's been my experience this year that the biggest reason to flip is because of the impact it will have on your students. Many, stu many people hear flip learning and they think immediately that, oh, well, that's where the student watches videos. And yes, well, that's a major part of my flipped classroom. Um, it's not the main point of it. In fact, a flipped classroom doesn't technically have to have any technology in it at all. Um, flip learning is all about changing what is done in the group space or in classroom um, and what is done in the individual space, which we commonly call homework. It's not about the videos at all, but it's about what happens in the classroom. So I think my number one reason for why I wanted to flip um, was because of the relationships that I could form and build with my students. We hear all the time about how we should be building relationships with our students and about how our students don't really care what we have to say until they know that we care about them which I really think is true. Um, but we get to work with some of the most amazing men and women, young men and women and, and, and kids, um, that oftentimes they end up changing our lives way more than we may have or impact ours if we're truly honest about it. So for me, getting to know my students better, um, getting to understand them both cognitively and emotionally um, has made me a better educator.